Today we're going to talk a little bit about pre and post travel adjustments. All of our leverage triggers come with a post travel adjuster screw which is on the very bottom of the trigger and it might need adjustments although they're adjusted at the factory. We're going to go over that post travel adjustment screw just in a few minutes here. First we're going to look at our higher end triggers that also have a pre travel adjustment screw. Before we actually put the locking block in, we're going to put the rear pin in for the housing and trigger and then put the trigger pin in and we're going to wiggle the trigger and make sure there's a little bit of play with the safety fully extended outside of the frame itself. As long as there's a little bit of wiggle room there, we're good to go. Go ahead and put the locking block in and assemble it. If there's a lot of travel there, you may just go ahead and make some adjustments to that top screw prior to this step. But if there's a little bit of wiggle room, you're okay. Even if there's a big gap there, you're okay. Go ahead and put the block in, assemble it, put the forward trigger spring, return spring in there. And once you have all of that there put together, we should be able to feel a real nice smooth trigger pull and that safety should clear the frame. There should be a gap behind the safety just by the sheer um, spring tension of the trigger return spring. So we do this test without the slide on there so that we know under just the sheer tension of that return spring we have clearance. So if you want to make adjustments here you push the trigger all the way in so you can access the screw insert the allen wrench make sure it's seated and then you would loosen the screw to add pre-travel tighten the screw to remove pre-travel but always should be a gap between that safety and the frame itself so if we could freeze this frame here there we go so this would be ideal, but no less than this. It has to have some gap between there. you got to see daylight. And that's under the return spring power only, not with the slide on. This is just before you even put the slide on. So we're good to go on the pre-travel. This is adjusted just right. And now we're at a stage where every single gun that we sell triggers for, every one of our leverage triggers will have this post-travel and so this is how you test it. With the slide on, I would press slowly back on the trigger, straight back, very slowly. And it should go all the way back and have a clean break at the end without having to press extra hard at the end. This particular trigger, I feel like I have to press just ever so slightly hard so it's on the border. So you turn the gun over. And again, with the bottom screw, you place the Allen screw uh, branch in there. And if you want more post travel, make a longer stroke, you turn this counterclockwise like you're unscrewing the screw to add more post travel. So if it's hard, if it's kind of hard at the end, add more post travel just like this. Then when you put the slide, or I'm sorry, the empty magazine, you should have a very nice clean break. And do the test again. Push very slowly, straight back, and that trigger should break cleanly without any extra weight to it. If you have a trigger gauge, that will tell you for sure. So there's your travel for pre and post travels and the post travel for all, all our leverage triggers.